Good morning. Um, this is the time of our worship when uh, we participate in our communion. So I want to take an opportunity here this morning to uh, just read through some verses that describe what our King tells us about our communion, the Last Supper. Let's look for a moment at 1 Corinthians eleven twenty six. For often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So you're giving a statement to the world, to yourself, to your fellow brothers and sisters that, that the representation of this bread and this cup means something. So as often as you do it, you're, you're proclaiming what it means. Matthew 26, 26 to 28. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples. And he said, take eat. This is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. For this is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus does this. Um, the eating and drinking, it's all essential for our life. It's all essential for our health. But Jesus takes it a step further. It's all essential of these emblems to be brought into our bodies to show what we know of the representations of his body and his blood. 1 Corinthians 10, 16. The cup of blessing that we bless, it is not a participation in the blood of Christ. The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? They are. They proclaim what they proclaim. The blood of, this, the blood of Christ that was spilt to wash our robes white forgiveness of sins and his body was broken for that final sacrifice acts 2 42 and they the disciples us devoted themselves to the apostles teachings and the fellowship to the breaking of bread and prayer so communion when we come together as a family as a body of christ we come together the first day of the week, Sunday, and we remember these emblems, the body and the bread. The body as the bread and the blood as the cup. Finally, Luke twenty two nineteen through 20. <clears throat> and he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it. Gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, the cup, after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. So as often as you partake of this, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Is it okay to do communion at home? Sure. Because we're doing it together, in unity, as the body of Christ. And we know what it means. We know the importance of it. And we're diligent in doing so. So this morning, as you meet with your family, the men of the house, you understand what the scriptures say. The bread represents the body. The cup represents the blood. So let's partake together. Let's pray. Thank you, mighty God, for giving us this opportunity to come together this morning, partake of our emblems, and to love on each other. Uh, Lord, continue to bless our little acorn as it grows. Let it grow into a mighty tree and stand for the things that are true and right. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Hopefully soon we'll do this together in person at the church house. God loves you. I do too. Go fight with.